What do you think an electric car is gonna do against yours? Um, I'm not really sure. It's the first one that I've seen uh, racing, but here it's pretty fast. So. Call rotary power. That's a pretty hot car. Now that was exciting, wasn't it? Absolutely. That that was a heck of a race, man. That, that's like you know by the skin of your chinny chin chin. Yeah, that's good. That's a good race. Uh, this car and I have been uh, close friends for 27 years. Uh, this car was converted in 1980 to electric power. And since 1980, it has not used one drop of gas, one drop of oil, one drop of antifreeze. Hasn't had any filter changes. Hasn't had any exhaust work because there is no exhaust system. This car has been totally maintenance free other than a couple battery pack changes over 27 years, which were minimal cost. And every day you start it up and this is what you get. Total reliability and it's nice to know that we're going down the road free of uh, dependence on foreign oil. We run on American generated electrons. You know, a lot of people want to know if it's a big deal to plug an electric car in as opposed to driving to a gas station. And I always tell them, yeah, you know, it's a really big deal. I don't know. I don't know if this is uh, going to be too hard for somebody. But, you know, I just drive home and I plug it in. And that's really tough. And now we're sipping uh, clean electricity from hydroelectric dams here on the Columbia River. No air pollution. And I don't have to go to the gas station.